militant Hindu leader arrested for inciting violence against Muslims. On January 17th, Yati uh, Narsing Anand, a notoriously hateful Hindu priest, was arrested and sent to two weeks of judicial custody related to two cases against him. Yati was a significant participant in the Hindu nationalist events recent uh, the Hindu nationalist event recently held at Harnivar that get, gained international attention for the open calls for genocide against non-Hindus. India's Supreme Court had previously announced a petition to seek the prosecution of several Hindu leaders for making the highly inflamed speeches against Muslims during the hateful events back in December. Yati's lawyer, Ma Chet, uh, Chetnandand uh, Sarasvati, noted that uh, Narsing Anand faces more than 20 other charges, including attempted murder. Since September 2021, Uttar Pradesh police have lodged three FRIs, or first information reports, against Narsin Anand, maintain, uh, mainly pertaining to insults against women. A few days after the uh, announcement from the Supreme Court regarding this petition, Narsin Anand stated on Twitter during an interview, quote, those who believe in this system, the police, politicians, and the military will uh, D.I.E. like dogs. Wow. It's great to see India doing the right thing here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So One thing like, I found... Is... Go ahead, sorry. You go ahead. No, you go ahead. One thing I found very interesting was that he, I believe it was he was um, first arrested for actually the FRIs that were filed against him in September of 2021. And a lot of, like I said, those... Um, FIRs filed against him had to do with like insults against women. Um, based on the way that it, I've seen some reporting on it, it seems like it was maybe insults against um, uh, Muslim women, particularly because um, oftentimes in a lot of uh, Indian journalism that I read, like when they when it's stated like towards a um a specific community they won't name the community but you know like it's a minority community and so you kind of have to piece things together it's sometimes weird that it's not just named um and including the charge of something around along the lines of like outraging the modesty of women um so basically he had these cases filed against him for um i guess inflammatory sexist remarks um let me find the exact charge because the phrasing of it was very interesting to me. Um, but one thing that he got in a lot of trouble for was if you scroll down a little bit in the news article, um, when last week we talked about how there was the other guy who was the first guy who was arrested. Um, the new name that he goes by is um, very long, but Tiagi, I'll just call him for short, or um, Wasim Rizvi, it was his previous uh, Muslim name. Um, when he was arrested, uh, uh, Yati Narsinghanand threatened to kill the police who were arresting him, threatened to kill the children of the police that were arresting Tiagi. And then when he was asked to comment on this petition that was put forward by the Supreme Court, wait, can you scroll down a little bit, Armin? So here we... Um, see it actually translated um he said we have no trust in the supreme court and constitution this constitution is a book that murdered that's basically responsible for the murder of um 100 million hindus those who believe in it will be killed those who believe in the system police army and then i can't say the end because of youtube um but you know look at what it says in the bottom of the um video you know it is bad when the the chiron and in the bottom third says views expressed by speakers are there alone we have nothing to do with it <laughs> <laughs> not even like they're not necessarily they're like they do not necessarily reflect our views blah 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 just like this is their opinion <laughs> we have nothing to do with it i've never <laughs> like, seen that's it. how you know it's bad <laughs> I've never seen anybody uh, put a disclaimer the, the like disclosure. that. The disclosure. Yeah, the disclaimer is usually like, this is not, uh, you know, 
these are not our opinions you know blah 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 but this one is like we have nothing like it's li- like this is for people who are listening to this on a, on a podcast like it's not like she's not rephrasing it it actually says we have nothing to do with it <laughs> <laughs> but you're the guy like you it's so weird <laughs> yeah it's funny um, um no but yeah so- by the way this this is why by the way india is way ahead of pakistan still okay like way ahead right so yeah go on um, one thing that I also thought was interesting was as I was researching this today, I learned that within the past less than 24 hours, in fact, some updates less than 12 hours ago, is that the attorney general is gave the okay to initiate contempt proceedings against um, Yati, Ar- N- not, Yati Narsingenland over his remarks that I just read about the Constitution. So they're basically saying that um, he's holding the entire judicial system in contempt and that this is going to promote um, a lack of trust in the judicial system, uh, a belief in maybe vigilantism. Um, And what I thought was, was really interesting is that in his full statements in that clip he actually threatens violence against people like anyone who believes in this constitution believes in this government at large believes in this army even they will die like canines like he's threatening violence but that's not really what they had an issue necessarily with the way that I was reading this and the way that the um, statement went out, it didn't seem like the the incitement to violence or the threat, the huge threat seemed like, that didn't seem like that was the biggest problem with what he said. He was like, oh, it's contempt of the judicial system. I'm like, what? Are you not? <laughs> he threatened to think people are gonna die like dogs, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's wild. Oh my God. <laughs> what's right. so funny all right the way you're describing it is it's very cute um all right um do we want to add anything or highlight anything in the live chat before we get to the next one yeah the attorney general said um his statements and said the statement repeated the statement is a directed attempt to lower the authority of the supreme court in the minds of the general public no offense ma'am that's not that's not as much of my concern <laughs> as his threat towards freaking everyone anyone who values like the the systems of government that make india the country that it is i don't know yeah so rudresh is saying yati hates bjp so this is it so this is kind of also a split i don't know if um yati would be um specifically called um trad so i've been studying recently the split in india between the trads and writers and so um, a trad is basically think of it kind of as an equivalent to the Indian alt right, like a groper, like the worst of the worst. Like they're often the trads are the ones who often come out a, a, after us, and then the writers, as they call them, it, that's kind of um, a way of saying like right writer, like right winger, um, are supposed to be more of the normie kind of um, BJP supporters who I still have a, a, an issue with because the BJP is freaking horrible. But um, they're, they they don't have the same vitriolic and um, just the level of outright bigotry or bigotry for fun that the trads have. There's a very big distinction there. So um, Yati is much more into the extremism of being super trad. Um, I don't think he uses the same tactics they do online or whatever, but that's one thing that I've been reading about is people are saying, you know, like he is the one who's really behind things. That Modi is too soft on Muslims. That Modi actually empowers Muslims in all these ways that is destructive. Like, or they go after Modi for um, his uh, other uh, backwards caste status, like for being low lower right. caste, basically. We do need to um, move on, but this. Uh, it- just a few more comments. I get this one. Sorry. And then... <laughs> uh, so um, D is saying, OMG, trads and chads, I can't keep up. This one. 
And yeah, Rudrush is saying Trads said Modi shouldn't have um, inaugurated the Ram Temple because he's OBC. Oh my God. So they're saying he's too low caste to inaugurate the temple that's for the birthplace of Lord Ram. Wow. Unbelievable. That's interesting. This one. Um, uh, Adhinav is saying Trads and Raitas are the same in core principles, like the pro Islamic Iranians and the pro Persian Iranians. Uh, what? I don't know no, if that's okay, that makes sense. that's not entirely yeah. equivalent. I kind of yeah. see what you're saying. It's um, I don't Dupa, think yeah, wait, no, there. This is a comment from a conversation people oh. are having between each other. Um, no, there was another one, okay. I, I, I highlighted the wrong Bubble is saying. Um, I, Bulbul is saying I'm against the contempt of court laws. They are derived from blasphemy laws, but this dude sucks. Yes. So for those who don't know, Bubul is our secret sexy Kali lawyer who helped us get the legal representation that we have now in India. And I was actually joking with her. I told her, I was like, you know, I don't usually wish harm upon people. I'm usually hey, don't, actively opposed don't to say, don't. We're always, not usually, we're always against harm on people. I kind of want this guy to get like an old timey pirate disease, like scurvy. Mm, let's not even joke about that. Okay. Like we don't harm, we don't wish harm on anybody, anybody, anybody. Yeah. Um, that is my principle. This this yachty guy is seriously. There is no yeah. There is no ifs and buts. We don't wish harm on anybody. Um, all right. <laughs> Secular rarity saying all I heard was bubble is sexy golly. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.